Okay. How's it going, guys? Uh, Max Reynolds here commentating with John Moore. Uh, we've got an elimination match between Base Lolly, or C9 Lolly, and uh, Dacoff, which is at Eception. Both pretty well known duelists. So let's see what happens. Uh, we don't know what either are playing currently. Uh, Ed had just played uh, Cyber Dragons last round, from what John told me. And Lolly could be playing anything. <laughs> Yeah, Lolly played, we, we featured him the round he lost, uh, it's double elimination in these tournaments, and he played a kaiju deck because he thought his kaiju could attack direct, the 3300 Ghidorah one. Oh wow. And then he was like, oh my deck sucks, and he actually managed to make it to game 3 against his opponent, but then he realized, like, it doesn't work that way, while he was going through maxi for combo, and... It looks like he wins the RPS and forces... He's gonna go first. Yeah. Forces so, Ed second. Leads me to believe Cosmo, uh, maybe Monarch. We'll see. Uh oh, Ed picked the wrong deck. Oh, that's not good. He had all this oh, time to do this. Accept too. The challenge. Well, uh, the unfortunate thing is in the tournaments, like if you disconnect, your opponent can either take a uh, match loss or game loss. Oh, uh, okay. Because like you could draw your hand also, Mulgan. I know these two duels know each other and wouldn't think that of each other, but, uh, I mean, it is also the last round, too. And it looks like he didn't even ask for it, so. He uh, said maybe, maybe he's just playing Monarchs. <laughs> he's just, uh, he's happy about the matchup. <laughs> My Miracle Unless Rogue deck. Summon, summon a Dark Planet. So he shuffled back Planet and was a uh, Slip Rider? Yeah, and, Slip Rider. Okay. So what is Alex going to do? Without Island or anything, uh, his hand can't be great, but he he has like Tin Can. Summons Cosmo. If he has Dark Destroyer, this is pretty solid. Yeah, there's... Oh, there's oh, the Maxi. Maxi. Chain a Chain Teleport. Oh, man. So he's going to so, have a Tin Can that banishes, I guess, and... And, uh... I can't imagine. Huh. Slip, Slip Rider, Rider to destroy Cosmo Town. Town. That's not So this bad. is pretty good for Alex. Yeah, it's just going to be a one for one on the maxi. Yeah. Uh, he's not going to have a pilot to tag out with, though. I would probably add uh, another town, yeah. And then just add back the witch. So that way you can get some more cards back. And I think at this point I'd... I'd give uh, give Ed a card off the maxi in the end phase with Tin Can just to like oh he shuffled that back though that's kind of interesting yeah the Wicked Witch I, yeah. I would almost think instead of Town Mojo if he didn't already have it Mojo might be yeah. right but it looks like he probably has Mojo by I don't Mojo think that would, yeah I don't think it would be a call he has nothing loaded in Grave right well he's gonna load up with Tin Can oh true 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 I didn't I don't know why I forgot that so, oh yeah, Landwalker is just so good too. Yeah, I ran into that for, for the first time today and I was just like, oh man, like which Landwalker with like another card is just insane. Yeah, it's great. Like, uh, so. I actually didn't like know it could destroy Town 2. I thought it was monsters. And he got the Landwalker. See, the, this is like where I would almost just summon the Landwalker. But I guess giving Ed a, the least amount of cards as possible to use. Yeah, is this going to be banished for effect or for... Yeah, yep. he's he's tagging out. That All walker right. is good. Yeah. Now, if well, Ed is still playing Cyber Dragon since he said wrong deck, he could just slurp this field. Yeah, like, no problem. Unless, uh... Plot twist. Uh -oh. Moria of Greed? Oh, uh -oh. it's water. Is this... Is this Adam Baron's deck? <laughs> Adam Baron played water the entire last tournament and got top four and played water the entire tournament until the last two rounds of this tournament. So, like, for five rounds. And then I guess him and Ed had, like, a fun deck. And then, like, since he was 6-0, he made it no matter what, and they played Dino Rabbit for our undefeated round. Mm -hmm. But uh, Adam barron has been playing a Moria of Greed build. Of, Whoa. Yeah, it's it solids it out really well and gives you a lot more draws and, like... <laughs> So there he's goes. just gonna fix his hand. Interesting he's he putting back Gamma Seal. Yeah, maybe he has another one. Yeah, I would say that's highly likely. 
the way this is going. If I was Ed, I would want to try to get rid of the back row and make like a dweller and, and see if I could crack both the monsters, but his hand would have to be super good for well, that. Well, there's Prince. And there's a call. So call for Dark Destroyer. Or, uh, no, definitely not Lady, because Prince sends for cost. So Dark Destroyer here, and then Alex is going to hope that that's good enough. I don't think it's good enough. This Unless deck's... he's got like one for one. This deck's shown a lot that it can do way more in this tournament than like any of us thought. And... Well, I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, wow, okay. Now, do you crack anything with this infantry? Do you bother? Um, I feel like by doing that, you let Alex kind of toolbox for whatever he needs. Yeah, Ed's thinking about that too. Uh, if you like, if you infantry the call, the Dark Destroyer dies and he gets to whatever he wants. Yeah. I feel like I just wouldn't use the infantry. Yeah, because this Megalo is about to get big too. So like, he can probably make a Dweller and try to crack over two things, but... It, it just depends on the rest of his hand, too, of course. Oh, Inventory is mandatory. mandatory. I did not know that. Neither did I, actually. Ed's checking, too. <laughs> <laughs> he said, eh. <laughs> Well, I guess... It is question mark. Yeah. Uh, I guess town is... I guess by hitting town here, he can prevent any uh, more play from uh, Alex on his turn. Yeah, goons looks uh, mandatory here too. Uh, yeah, but I don't know why you'd ever. Oh, he. Oh, whoa! I actually didn't know that. So you can just landwalker, and he can pop another card to keep the town. That card is so broken. Yeah, when any Cosmo card, like like I said, that happened earlier to me. I didn't even know he could pop town itself. But like, yeah, you can basically crack anything instead, and. It's just insane. So here, uh, Landwalker Lady is really annoying, to be honest. Like that could, like I get that, like water uses all these costs and stuff, but it it'll prevent Ed from getting more cards back. Is that the trap one? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. So Alex is still thinking about Dark Destroyer. Unless for some reason he's not using it. <laughs> I wish I knew the rest of Ed's hand to figure out what I would want to add with the Dragoons. Oh, he uh, he can't resolve it yet. Like, he's Landwalker's activated the hit Destroyer, and Ed still has to finish his chain before Lolly decides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he hasn't added with Goon, so uh, he may add different things depending on what he adds. But I can't imagine anything besides which. You wouldn't want, like, Slip Rider. You wouldn't want Forerunner. I can't imagine why. Delta Shuttle, yeah. maybe? But probably not. Uh, that just gets, like, run over for no reason. I don't know. Yeah. And then, like, the Landwalker just sits there, too, and protects everything. Because that effect is just whenever... Oh, Mulan Glacius. So, like, he potentially has the play for it to hit the hand? Yeah, well, he'll have uh, Prince Engrave with Infantry and Dragoons, to my knowledge. I can't... I don't... And then two more Agreeds. Mulan Glacius is also mandatory. Yeah, and then if Alex negates that, then Ed loses his battle phase on the next turn, which is huge. Yeah. With, with Cosmo Town hanging around, like... That's really big, because now, like, Alex can pop Town to protect Lady and grab Dark Destroyer if he wants. Ooh, instant fusion, instant. though. Oh, okay. So maybe he's going to have to uh, stop the Norden. Well, I don't know about that. Like, uh, getting a boost, though, with a Dweller, and that the Lady's going to be protected, though, and able to negate Dweller no matter what, like... It still doesn't seem like a good situation for Ed depending, but I guess the negate's there. That's a once per turn effect, right? Yep. Once per turn. God, Alex is in just such a good spot right now. Landwalker just... Yeah, see? Yeah. I do. That's uh, pretty... Siding, 
Uh, I don't even know. I and hope that uh, has a side. Yeah. <laughs> he has Gamma Seal right now, and that's probably his best answer to any Landwalker field. But again, like I said, it was really surprising that he shuffled it back, considering, like, uh, the ability to just attribute Landwalker. Yeah, like, that card was, like, game against him. I, I can't imagine what he would have done, even if he got to do anything he wanted with Lady and Landwalker. Because you'd have to kill so many things to get through it. Well, he could have just tributed Landwalker for Gamma Seal, and, and he would have never got to Lady. It would just be a Destroyer. Yeah. We always like to take out between rounds to thank Trollandtoad.com because all the the prizes are in their store credit. So uh, it's really nice to have them on board for a free tournament. Oh, that's great! Yeah, shout out to Troll and Toad. Yeah. No entry, free tourney. Shout out to the card guys, too. Hey. <laughs> Official card guy. Can't leave my boy uh, Kyle hanging. Yeah. I saw the jokes on Desmond today that it's because he wasn't a card guy anymore. Yeah, it's spoofy, the spoofy ordered the hit. <laughs> so 10 can uh -oh. set, just one? No, there's two. Uh, All right. It's never just one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, this is such a strong play. Yeah, even still, like, people joke that, like, people don't know how to play unless they can do this, but, like, it's just strong. People hate it because it's strong. Yeah, I actually get the feeling Alex isn't really going to use Island, just by the way he's been... I don't know, maybe he is. He messaged me and said that it was, like, a Dark Planet deck, so... So... Yeah, he's going to do... Interesting the Forerunners in this mix. Uh, I think that just telegraphs that he might have a, a mojo in hand. Because he, if he did all ships, it could, like, be a tell that he would just want to pop it off with for mojo instead of having to hit, like, a pilot. Because if he hit Dark Lady and didn't have a ship, then his mojo wouldn't be live. Well, here's a pike straight off the bat. Pike, well, you gotta pay cost. Oh, well, that's really good. Uh, yeah. Add gun? Uh, it's a Mermeliads, right? Or yeah, level, level three. Oh, okay. I think it's. Yeah, just... Gunder like Marksman. But Marksman would just force any of the things that Alex has down. Yeah, and those might be getting chained anyways. Actually, if it's like Mojo and stuff, to the reveal... No, it still summons and then does the chain, so like... even it wanna, You could just hit a Mojo for no reason. Yeah. You'd have to force him to play it. Yeah, but he, right now it's still a pilot out, so it still wouldn't be the worst. Yeah. And Megalo is gonna go ahead. Discarding... Another Jibu goon. And, and Marksman, Marksman that he already had. Okay. So does he want to tag out here to have his mojo live? Uh, I think that's what's happening. I would happening. say so, yeah. yeah. That seems correct. The problem is, like, since it targets, uh, he would have to... I don't know if there's any way he could do it without having to mojo away his tin can. Because I feel like chains the... Chain tin can to the reveal. That would resolve first, but the marksman would still target the trap. But it goes on a new chain. Uh, yeah, he should chain. Yeah, he would have to tag out here to the reveal, have his ship ready, and then Wally would make his links and he can chain whatever. Oh, oh never okay. mind. He's just okay. gonna. So now marksman will hit the other back row though, and goons will still go off. So Marksman chain link one, goons chain link two. Yep. He can uh, build that chain, pretty sure. Not that it. You would want goons well, as yeah, one, or in case it's one, so it can't get striked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that like has to be called then. 
and oh, it's Mojo. It's okay. And he's just gonna let it go. Yeah. So he has. We know he has Walker. Yeah. We don't know what he has with Walker. I have to imagine he already. I don't know to to just let all this go and not to have chained out into the Mojo like. And almost, because Bad Witch is not bad at all. So he's just going to force the tag out here and deal with whatever main phase 2. He could have system downs and stuff too, if he's just doing it this way. I hope for Ed's sake that he has some side deck cards. <laughs> Gam Seal would be decent, but then he could just Gam Seal away the pilot and not have to worry about a free add off Cosmo Town, so he wouldn't have that. Yeah, and he didn't... Uh... He did have Gamma Seal main, so that's not like mm -hmm. something that would be too surprising. And here goes uh, lead for pitch, oh, but guns. Seven plays. Guns not bad. And there's a max C to ooh, ooh. the reveal. That's that's really kind of worst case scenario. That max C is huge. Alex played that pretty well. Man, Abyss Gaios would be so funny here because then like the another thing can attack and he could just negate Landwalker and stuff. This. So he can at least equip it to this and force him to go pilot mode. Yeah, and you like tribute Pike to get a card out of their hand. I'm pretty sure. Is Gun mandatory also? Uh, I don't believe so. Yeah, I'd say you can. So he chose to. Yeah, he. I guess you just figure here you uh, you're just trading the one for the one. Yeah, and getting a bigger monster out too. Yeah. And now we can equip the spell to Megalo. Oh, forget what I'm saying. I guess he can just take Walker. No, he's just gonna, like I said, Gaios, and then uh, if he equips the spell, then he'll be able to stop Dark Destroyer, because uh, he'll be a bigger... Okay. So this is like, it's kind of like all in play, but... It, it was necessary? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know the rest of his hand, but it, it looks like it was, yeah. Because now Alex has like so many cards, but the Gaios should give him a, a little bit of a challenge. It just kind of stinks that Ed didn't get to play the deck he wanted to. Yeah, definitely, probably. This, this has to be, like... Ed ha Ed's played so many decks, we've never even seen him play Water. But he's obviously showing, like... I, I don't think he's played it wrong anywhere, for the most part. No, not, not at all. That card in his hand, like, if it's Maxi, that'd be really good for Ed. He's in he a didn't use it to combo. He's in a position where he's not going to lose easily. Worst case scenario, Alex has like right Gecky. <laughs> but then I feel like he would have just slammed that. Yeah. He's viewing or his... like Dark Planet, but Dark Planet can't even attack if he summons it, so that's like another thing. Well, all the all the annoying cards like uh, like Sword Trooper can activate effect and tag out, so Gaios isn't going to do anything to the smaller pilots that could possibly do some combos. Like I see him viewing his extra deck, so we may have a trickier play here. Yeah, I don't think he has anything in gray for uh, Trooper though. Yeah, that's, that's cool thing. so he needs to like get something going. That's like another thing a lot of people don't really do with Cosmo that I've seen is like with your tin can, you kind of want to try to set up Sword Trooper if you're using tin can in the deck. Um, that way, if you draw Trooper, it's not like a dead card. Because if you draw Trooper without cards in grave, it's basically just a farm girl. It's not really going to do anything for you. So he's just going to crack the farm girl and make it tag out. Yeah. In two. Ooh. Slip right here. Ooh, that that could hurt. That changes things, yeah. I think you bothered to negate it, yeah. Yeah, because otherwise that lets Alex use Dark Destroyer. Man, these being in defense though, if uh, if Ed cracks an instant fusion into Dweller, he's just in there. Oh yeah, he can run through everything. All right, well. Let's see what happens. I would almost think to, I know Cosmo depends so much on life points, but I would think like 
the the fear of like instant fusion you might want to do that but it looks like he oh there's oh, an, um, so you so might have maxi here i can't imagine why you wouldn't play it think what else oh he well no it's not going to be lancia he wouldn't think about lancia here Unless, um, unless he would what no because then it could just tag out next turn so okay he said it's fine that's interesting do you think he thinks he has a better use for a maxi later somehow uh i can't imagine why because like this seems like a perfect time to because if he has like if alex brings out uh straw man and did like a pay 500 to summon and then add chain maxi he could just tag into another thing and get less value so See, i feel like he can't have maxi at that rate i i knew he was thinking about some kind of rank three play when he was looking at his extra like i felt it yeah yeah definitely so huh. what's he make here and it's just gonna force like gaios his second yeah he makes the the break sword and it's just gonna force Gaius to second negation and now it can't negate anything. Yeah, that seems like the plan. Oh, what if Alex had like Chalice? That would be crazy. Yeah, you just have to negate that, Ed. Chain. And Oh, so these these ships can't even ram right now. Like they, they can't attack. But I, st I still feel like having them in attack mode's right because of a Dweller play. Yeah, with the damage doesn't seem as important. Hmm. Like, that's what I this think deck... Alex just passes here. This deck, like, pumps... Like, its, it's point is to pump Dweller out. And yeah, he puts Slip to attack mode here. But that doesn't stop the Dweller play. He needs to put them both to attack. Oh, because... Okay, so the... I mean... At this point, the Dweller play won't matter as much, because he'll have... He says Landwalker now. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still gonna, like, attack... Oh, I guess attack the Slip. The Slip would stay. And then a Walker would sacrifice itself, and the Dweller can't get over Slip. So this is kind of a bait. But he's putting both to attack. Oh, they can attack now. Oh. Yeah. Okay, it's still main phase one. I, for some reason, I thought it was main phase two. Like, I completely... Oh, yeah, I actually blanked on that, too. It's a little late. <laughs> but, uh... So now yeah, if he... Can, like, ram. And... Is there a chance... Make, like, infinity and take the Gaios if you wanted to. Is there a chance that he plays the uh, third Sword Trooper also, though? I think there's a pretty high chance of that. Yeah, Lolly, that's what he got third with. On Declaration. Oh, is this the Health oh, Maxi? Yeah. It is the. <laughs> that's why I said. That's why I said it was weird on the teleport. Like, there's no reason to lance you. So I think that's what Ed stopped and thought about. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You're spot on there. That is so good for uh, for Ed there. And he kills that instead. But oh man, Dweller. Now he's thinking, oh, he'd rather keep Slip. Oh. That's very interesting. Oh, has he not normal summoned? He teleported. So if he has a... Uh, I thought he normaled out the the other... Oh, the Sword Trooper. You're... No, I yeah. thought he teleported Sword Trooper. Well, he teleported one and then he normaled the other. Oh, yeah, he, you're right. He didn't have any targets you're in grave. And there goes that Break Sword, but... Okay, so there's so many top decks here. Cosmo Town... Uh... Mojo, but no, Mojo's not a top because of this trap yeah. negator. And there is Cosmo. Oh, down. that was really good, Alex. <laughs> Zodiac Duelist Own. Is it Space Lolly now? Yeah, he's Space <laughs> Lolly right now because he, he's really out there. I wonder how many alt DN accounts he has. And there's Tin Can. So that's, that's just pretty good. Uh, there's no negations left, even though it's bigger. Like, if he gets Dark Destroyer, he's good. He can get a Slip Rider and float. He's only used this one Slip Rider, right, so far? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think he plays three or just the two now? Well, he. Uh, regardless, he can get it back with Town now. Yeah. I, I feel like he plays three, but he might just play two. I like three in the deck. I think it's a really good card. 
Yeah, it's definitely. Way to infinity, uh, you can pop your Cosmo Town and search whatever. Back to D. Interesting. Maybe he has another Landwalker he wants to reveal. I know some people use two of that card. And this this build doesn't appear to be a, a Fire King Island combo variant, so he might want to be using more of the uh, yeah, Landwalker. It's, it's not standard at all. Uh, yeah, so like, oh, okay. Which is which is not bad to get here either. It's one of the best cards against Mermail since they can't OTK through it. So, which he gets? Yeah. So he's not dying. Never lucky, huh, Alex? <laughs> Drew Town, never lucky. Well, that does impair his play to be able to get an Infinity out. So that line of like play is kind of gone right now. And is the tag out indeed into which? And there's a Max C. So did he hold that too? I think that was from the front of his hand if he hasn't shuffled. And now do you crack the uh, slip and try to get something going? Uh, yeah, I actually think I would attack slip to force. This is yeah. This is weird that he's attacking which because even though even though that clocks his life points down to eleven, like I don't know what the oh wow. Well, he, yeah, because like. Now he has the floating uh, uh, slip rider still, and then if he draws into like sword trooper, has access to it, he can just get the witch back anyways, and save the thousand he would have paid. Well, both sword troopers are in graveyard. He has to get to the. Oh my gosh! What a hold! Uh, yeah, Ed's been playing this really well ever since he went like way behind on cards. <laughs> so. Is there like a rank two? Oh, he could make that uh, that Sky Cavalry card, which like compulses uh, monster at battles. That'd be kind of cool. Well, I think he's just gonna get Neptibus, and then maybe make oh, Tatsunoku. Could, like, Trish, uh, oh, if he could Trish somehow, that'd be crazy. Yeah, he's gonna get Neptibus, get Neptibus effect, get Tatsunoku, and maybe have something. Is this the the, the other game he searched Mulan Glacier, right? Yeah, he searched Mulan Glacier last time. What's Oh, he's yeah, he's definitely studying his options right now because, like he yeah. said, he didn't mean to pick this deck. So it may have some very weird or odd off options that he was trying out to. Yeah, I wish I was paying more attention to cards over in his grave because a uh, Mulan Glacier play here would be pretty good. Just being able to take Alex's last card because Cosmo always needs like two cards to do anything, unless you have like Tin Can or something. So by eliminating the one in his hand, there isn't. That many great cards you get top. Yeah, getting rid of town card in hand and a, like, I don't think you remove a sword trooper or anything in case of a town. You, you definitely want to be careful of what you're removing from grave. Huh. Probably a ship that like call could get that would matter is what you'd remove from grave. Mm-hmm. Well, he, he's uh, still in a good spot because he has the the Cetus scale that stops trap cards, so... Oh, that's true, that's yeah. true, yeah. So that really actually just limits... If he can somehow trish here, yeah. it, will, it limits him so much. So, like, if he can go Tatsunoku and, like, ditch goons here and get a three and has another three? Or, like, he ditches... One minute, you... It depends what he's really uh, ditching here. Send an Atlantean from your deck to add an Atlantean. So, like, he would need to... He could get a three Atlant. He could pitch goons, get a level three Atlantean, and then use goons to get another level three Atlantean if he has access to both of those, and just Trish him. Mm -hmm. If he has access to Trish and that. If, if I'm not wrong. Instant fusion. This would just be perfect. But I feel like he wouldn't be taking this long if he did have that. Yeah. Um. I. I don't think Moon Glacier would be alive if he did it. Because he sent. I hope he plays Tatsunoku. Yeah. Because <laughs> like that whole play I said is live. Like if he there goes the a two and three oh, to hand. Force another draw off Maxi maybe. That's interesting. So does he? Do you think he already has another three in hand too? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Or that that could also just be one of his last cards. Why is he uh, popping town? Uh, I don't know. 
I I probably oh maybe he's gonna mulling glacier him and then he can just take the card out Ooh, of his hand. Oh, you're that'd right. Be cool. What if he Trish on glacier? That'd be the insane. There's Tatsu. Six six. Start a charge warrior. Yeah, that's what I was scared he was gonna go into. Uh -oh. But now if he can synchro with this, he has crystal wing. No. Nope. In a back row. It's a trap, it'll just get negated unless it's a counter trap though, right? What did you add to him? Yep. This was a very confusing line of play. To me, anyways. I don't know what this back row is. or And he's at yeah. full life too. But like, popping town... Uh, like, he's under max C, so like... Driving slip to a pilot when he can just ram it. Like... At worst, if he truly needed I a pilot. Like, yeah, I would have tried to get more value out of the max C there. Yeah, you could have topped anything, including Mulan Glacier. Oh, that is Doesn't huge. that just get negated by his spell? Oh, by your opponent, okay. Because I know the other one... Is mandatory, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well now Ed's in a terrific spot. <laughs> yeah, the, the spell, I believe, is the first activated one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, this card is a lot better. People were talking about that and, like, arguing which one was better. And, of course, during Pendulum format. Yeah, now he's got to... A, the first trap he gets is negated. Like, he's got to almost draw into a Slip Rider, and I think most of them are gone, if not all. And that Charge Warrior can attack all his Special Summon monsters. So, like, I think it can run him through whatever he... If he, like, were to float, he could just keep attacking. Yeah, that, that card's really cool. Well, I feel you just turn the slip to attack and kill it. Yeah, definitely. But Ed turned this way around, all the way from like, just... From nothing, really. Yeah, from looking like it was over. And at 8,000 life points. Didn't well, really expect to be playing, too. Yeah, his play makes a lot more sense now. And there's a trap, which... Oh, okay, there's two back row. So, Wally's, despite all of this, despite everywhere he's gotten, Alex may still have, like, the ability to Dark Destroyer here, which would, uh... Oh. Wow. Well, we're getting three random cards. Aquasphere. He can't use that under Iron Wall. I don't know if he thought about that. I guess maybe he figured he would control whenever he would flip the iron wall. So if, and it's a trap, so he would like combo out into a field and then flip it. Yeah. That appears to be playing a different uh, variant of water too, because I, I don't think a lot of people are using uh, a lot of uh, uh, mermail cards, and Aqua Spirit is definitely retro mermail. Every single card we've seen has uh, been played in Adam Barron's build from our previous tournament. So uh, I, I think they shared the list and talked about it. Gotcha. Yeah, like Mori of Greed, like at three, like he's like, I miss Upstart, so I'm just playing three of these. Like Instant Fusion G's, like this is, this is, that was really good to draw into. Yeah, Ed's really turned this around. Uh, yeah, he draws one more. He draw. I was about to ask where his other card was. Yeah. I don't think that changes your line of play from instant no. fusioning first, unless you drew something that destroys back rows. Here, I would almost. Oh, I don't, actually don't even know what this thing does. I'm going to read oh, it's it. it's good for the deck. When any player declares a monster declares an attack, you can detach an Xyz material from this card. All monsters your opponent control lose 1,000 attack until the end of the turn. When this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and since the graveyard, you can target one other monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. And that's the game. So we've got a game three out of, out of what a comeback. Like... And we've got 36 people now, chilling with us at 2 a.m. I mean, you guys got to go to sleep after the match, of course. But... Well, I think we have one more match <laughs> after this. I'm not going to ask you to have to oh, stay okay. up. It's uh, CJ Kraus versus uh, a guy named Zayed Call. Sounds like he's out of Game of Thrones.
<laughs> I just started watching that. It's pretty good. Don't get attached to anybody. Oh, I know. <laughs> I can tell you one person you can get attached to, and it's not a spoiler. Who's that? You can get attached to Hodor. He's still around. Oh, okay. My, uh, my favorite character is Jon Snow. It's All pretty right. awesome. I like uh, Daenerys too. Yeah, those are those are both super fan favorites. It's hard to hate them at all. They're both really yeah. good. They're well built characters. For sure. So Alex set to pass. That's that's not, not a good sign. Not great. I just has to pitch two marksmen here for a megalo. Yeah, we haven't seen any kind of psalm strike kind of play. Well, there's a summon oh. of a marksman, which if he attacks, he does something, right? Uh, he yeah, gets... he, he'll get to summon um, uh, Dragoons from his deck if he wants. Or Infantry and get an extra summon, I guess. And there's Maxi. Let's see, okay. Is there anything he can summon that can just pop the Marksman? That Alex can summon? No, that uh, Ed can summon to pop his own Marksman. Is there... Uh, I don't believe so. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Like, I, I didn't play from, like, 09 to, like, 2014, basically. I came back. So, like, I was um, always around, but, like, and I kind of got how decks worked, but I didn't, like, look at, as deep at them. So, Mermel's one of those ones that I'm still reading cards and yeah. trying to learn. I played that deck for a while. I actually played it over Dragon Rulers, which was a mistake. <laughs> So that's when I was just a little noob, as Jeff likes to say. So Marksman is going to get sent here, probably, and grab a goons, I think. Uh, yeah, probably. Goons are a megalo. Or he can't have megalo. Give these cards too much credit. And call the hot of the max team. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, spice. The call Tribute summon. Does the call not die? No, uh, Marksman has to pop a set card, so when the call flips, it doesn't die. Oh, that's like Yaichi. That's funny. Yeah. The Some interactions are just so weird. Oh, he can tribute for Landwalker. That's actually kind of... Yeah. yeah. If he got a town, that's kind of big. Or... If he has straw man, he can make a rank two play. Or make which? Make a Bagasto Phoenix and kill both of them. Pretty solid. <laughs> <laughs> which would actually be uh, something else he could tribute for that would actually be yeah. relevant. Like, the, the deck like picked up so many thing. plays. Tribute summon deck. <laughs> Maximum cockroach in attack mode. Uh. Do you think that might have actually deterred Ed from uh, setting anything like Iron Wall if he had it? The, having the tribute fodder here? Uh, probably not. I mean, I don't... I think that he just assumes Alex's hand is just, just so terrible that he had to call the Haunted back a Max C to do anything. I guess Slip Rider would be a problem. I yeah, mean, like, it would be, like... It would, it, yeah, it would illuminate his out, or his, like, floodgate. I could get behind that, yeah. Yeah, like, I, I think in my position, I just, I'm like, well, if he does anything, I have all these cards and an iron wall to follow up with, so, like, I can make him do his things first, and, like, clear the ability to do that, to where he'd have to waste a teleport in order to make that play, and then that, there goes everything he has. Mm-hmm. And here's a tributed Landwalker. Landwalker. All right. Well, make sure you kill that prince. Yeah, no Hopefully point to let it wanna... keep going. Oh. Oh, what? Maybe he has teleport? I would think so. Oh, oh. that's oh, way better. Oh, well, now I can get to farm girl. Uh, and maybe win the game. Oh, Maxi. Well, my idea of saving Iron Wall would have been the wrong choice here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely would have uh, been alive. But the max C might deter Alex from going to, to Ham. Because Ed could draw into, like, a Lancia. 
Or already has. Nah, you you would have used it. There's no way he yeah. doesn't. Yeah. But, okay, so if you get farm rolled, you just stop there then. Because there's, there's already five cards staring him down. Yeah. Unless he has... I don't know, I've been... Uh, people max see me when I'm playing Cosmo lately. And if I know I have game, I'm just going to go for it. So, the one card that I've been running into while doing that has been Chaos Hunter, actually. Because, like, you special summon and they just drop that. You can't remove or anything, and it's 2,800. Yeah, I've seen people citing three of those now. So that card's pretty scary. Okay, so Alex is going to be conservative here. Just add town. Yeah, Landwalker Town's still pretty strong on its own. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. So pay six, and then maybe as a back row. Yeah, back row's needed at this point. If you don't have a back row, uh, you're probably getting dwellered and pushed through your resources. I imagine. Because remember, he stopped for the maxi himself. Yeah. So... It's likely he has a lot of actual plays in his hand. And there is a back row. Alright. Okay. Is there more? Unlikely. Mm -hmm. He's pausing. He could be thinking about setting up... No, okay. Nothing else. Alright. So... And he just straight goes into the walker here. An offensive max C would be kind of harsh. So I think this almost guarantees that um, Alex has a uh, mojo down. Ooh. Okay, yeah, if you have a yeah. mojo, you got to use it here. Yeah. There's no question about it. Like, you've got to stop this one card. And it is, it is. Good reads. Yeah. So, I feel like I would float down to, uh, oh, Lady, that's interesting. Maybe as a ship in hand. I would almost want to just sit on a, a Cosmo since I know he uses it. Yeah. Because if, like, Ed can... Ooh, yeah. 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 Your call was pretty right. This may be just a punch through now. Oh, there's... Uh, okay. Oh, a tag out. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. And now he may go to what you said. Yeah, the... Or Look another lady. Let's see what he. I I just can't get behind lady because like now lady can't tag if he summons it too. Oh, that's crazy. You think that's his last thing is his ship in hand? Uh, well, he can't even tag with it now though because oh, okay. he already banished for. Okay, I mean, so he. Oh, okay. okay. All right. This is like another instance where like if Ed knows he has game, he's just gonna go for it. Well this lady gets one negate, it's gonna be harder to get game through a lady. Uh I mean yeah. But if like if he negates the dragoons, which he's not gonna do, and then he has like two infantries, then that's just it, I'm pretty sure. Is TS a separate link here, or is he just not doing it? Uh, okay. He's just kind of doing it all at once. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he didn't declare it, but like it was chaining to. And the gun is going to be huge here too, because like if Ed pitches gun and uh, water for the megalo, and then Alex uses lady to negate the megalo. Oh, the gun's already going to get back lead, which is strong enough. So, yeah, this is crazy. Like this yeah. is so good for Ed. Now he's going to be able to get a trap. Yep. You have to save your Lady Negate for Megalo or just get run over. I think he has to stop Megalo Reveal. But then, uh, th I just feel like Ed wins. Yeah, this is a real rough spot. Like, get the... Well, Megalo tributes for cost, right? If he lets uh, that happen. Yes, it does okay. trigger for cost. So, like, he'd be able to kill both if Ed tries to do that for game. So, like... But he's... Now, like, he's already stronger than the lady and the... Wait, what's going on? I'm confused. Oh, Alex just decided to negate. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's game, then. Wow. 
So he's going to be able so to... So even if he did go for Wicked Witch, um, Ed would still have an answer for it. So, he could just Estelle or something. You know, I, I've i seen some Cosmo play Valor. We haven't seen it from Wally all these games. Uh, like, what could he have? I just don't think there's anything. I, I really hope he knows that he can't tag. That's another reason why I would want to go uh, Wicked Witch there, because like if you had Max D, then you could sit there, and if they try to Castell, hopefully you just draw into something to go into. Has a uh, lead used its effect? To, uh, it hasn't used its effect. Uh, not yet, no. I think he would just save that for after the battle phase, in case he doesn't yeah. win. I just think you make Dweller here. That seems so good. Because that way, if you don't kill Alex, he has to play through Dweller guys. Cast okay. L. That's game. All right, yeah. Unless there's a Valor. Yep. All right. So, Ed takes it with a deck he wasn't expecting to use. Team Jobber's Ed. Shades of Adam Baron taking this one down. And moving on to the top eight.